Hey everyone, this is Pete, and welcome back to Short Play, a series of quick tours of games I like on a variety of platforms, new and old. Today's game is Neptunia Shooter, which was originally announced as an April Fool's joke by Idea Factory International, but it was subsequently developed into a full game after there was actually significant demand for it to become a real thing. Um, it's a PC exclusive, so this is uh, the first Neptunia game that hasn't been released on a Sony console, for one thing. Um, it's the first game in the series to be developed exclusively by Idea Factory International rather than Compile Heart, uh, and the second 2D game in the franchise after Super Neptunia RPG. Now, some of you watching may not have come across Neptunia before. This is one of my favourite series. It's a series of initially role-playing games, but it's broadened out into a variety of other genres since then. Um, that is designed to be kind of a, a parody and satire on the games industry. So all the main characters are personifications of uh, the big gaming brands. That is personifications of uh, Nintendo, Sony, Microsoft. And the main character, Neptune, is a um, personification of the cancelled Sega Neptune console, um, which uh, some of you may know the history of as well. So yeah, there's, uh, there's a lot of sort of homages to different games and events in the industry and so on. And Neptune Issue 2 is no exception to that. Those who are fans of things like Gradius in particular will be very familiar with some of the things that happen in this game. So, um, I've not spent a huge amount of time with this game previously, but I have always enjoyed the time I've spent with it. So I can't promise how far through it we're going to get today because it's quite challenging, as any good shoot 'em up should be. But let's go play Neptunia Shooter. Okay, here we are with Neptunia Shooter from Idea Factory International. A uh, PC exclusive game that, uh, as I say, was originally made as a April Fool's joke uh, that kind of got a bit out of hand <laughs> and ended up being a rather fun little shoot 'em up. So mechanically, it's pretty straightforward. You have a fire button, you move around. Um. It's a modern style Japanese shoot 'em up, so that means that the actual hitbox for your character is much smaller than the sprite. So, part of learning how to play this game is understanding where you can safely situate yourself on the screen and how much you can afford to graze bullets and that sort of thing. And we have this bit here, which is, I believe, a homage to the original Gradius. Oops. With the volcanoes. And then a boss fight against various Neptunia characters. This one is Compa, who is the personification of Compile Heart. He's throwing Dr. Mario pills at you. Because if you know your Neptunia, you'll know that she is a nursing student. So she's a little bit fiddly to fight because you have to actually blast her through the gaps in the doggoos that are surrounding her. But once you've beaten a character, you can then use them as a playable character. And each character has their own unique shot pattern. And so, in order to get the best scores as you go through the levels, you'll need to switch between them. To make the best use of their unique capabilities. And preferably not get shot, like I am. This game is quite generous with extra lives, I think it's every 30,000 points or so you get an extra life. So as long as you can actually survive long enough to score a few points, you should be able to keep going for a little while, at least. Uh, that was not my best effort, so let's have another go. Off we go again. I mean, this is a really simple game. Like I say, it wasn't intended to be anything other than a little joke game to begin with. But the fact that they bothered to flesh this out into a full experience is really admirable, I think. Because they ended up with something that's really genuinely fun. 
<laughs> and also, it achieves something that people have been wanting to see for quite a long time, which is, if you've ever beaten a Neptunia game, um, the end sequences for them always have this lovely a sort of pixel art interpretation, usually of the game you just played, but presented as if it was like a 16-bit RPG or something like that. And what this game is providing is an actual Neptunia game based around that aesthetic, which is what people have been wanting to see for a long time, ever since they first saw that... Um, that kind of visual style in the endings for the games. And just the whole thing is just so pleasantly cheerful. I mean, that's kind of a pattern for the Neptunia series anyway, but just like the music in this, it's so it's so chipper and nice and happy and everyone's having a good time. It's just silly fun, which is exactly what we all need sometimes. I'm going to get trapped in the corner this time. That was my problem last time, I think. I think Compass Pills might be a little bit more powerful than Neptune's shots as well. And as with a lot of shooter maps, if you can find a way to minimise the number of enemy shots on the screen by defeating them quickly, that's something you want to try and achieve. All right, next boss coming up. It's IF. Who is the personification of Idea Factory? So these are proper old school boss fights with pattern recognition and the sort of dealing as much damage as you can oh I'm dead wasn't paying attention there clearly right another try yeah so, so the proper old school boss fights that involve recognizing the patterns that they're doing finding suitable openings finding safe spots on the screen all that good stuff But yeah, I really like this game. It's, it's a bit of a shame it hasn't had a wider release than just a download-only version on Steam. I, I'd love, like, this to be included in, like, a Neptunia game for Switch or something like that. Just so you can play it on a console. Oh, extra life and immediately lose it every time. I'm just as bad at that section in this as I am at it in the original Gradius, so... At least that's authentic. <laughs> Alright, that's straightforward enough. It's the second stage where we start to struggle a bit. Just clear as much space as possible as soon as possible. No, oh, no. Ooh. 
Oh, so many bullets! This isn't bullet hell by any stretch of the imagination. I'm just really bad at shoot 'em ups. But as with any good shoot 'em up, if you take the time to actually learn this game, you'll find it a lot easier to succeed at it. Alright. Let's concentrate on dodging this time. everywhere come on oh I've done it right so now we add IF to the mix what is her I oh, say so she can fire backwards Which will most certainly be helpful. Oh dear. Well, I think that might be my best score. Oh no, not quite. V just shy of my best score. Let's have another go. Because I'm having a good time. See if we can get through that volcano bit without getting hit this time, but I don't think I've ever managed that yet. Oh. Oh! I did it! Amazing. In that case there, it's about not moving too much. Ah, no miss level one, MLG Pro Gamer. Or not. Come on, Compa, do your stuff. Yeah, I really like this game. The the character switching aspect just had something really interesting and unique to this game, I think. I mean, it's, it's basically just switching between different weapons, I know, but... It really sets this game apart, I think. Makes it more than just a straight clone or homage to something. Alright, bring it on, IF. I got you this time. I know your game. Your game is bouncing up and down behind me and being annoying.
IF is probably one of my favourite characters in the Nineptune Junior franchise. I've got a lot of time for characters in comedy series who are just like long suffering sidekicks. Who just sort of continue to put up with the bullshit of the main cast as, as much as possible just because they feel like they have to at this point. No, oh, no! That went badly. Because I pressed the wrong button. You have two switch... Oh, no! You have two switch buttons. You can switch forward and backwards between the characters, and, uh... Yeah, I'm obviously not doing that entirely correctly. All right, let's have one last go. Excuse me, bang in my microphone stand again. Sorry for clanging you. Oh, 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 come on, come on. Oh, no. Not this time. Yeah, the only thing I wish they'd tweak about this game is the fact that it doesn't run um, either full screen or borderless windowed on PC. And that means you get like windows crap around the outside of the screen. And I always find that a bit distracting when I try and play a game. I know like hard some hardcore PC gamers, that doesn't bother them at all, especially if they're the sort of person who does other things while they're playing a game. But I just wish you could, like, do a quick alt-enter and run the game in true full screen, because that would be really nice. It's got a really nice, chunky pixel art style about it that would look lovely in full 1080p full screen. Oh dear, it's going poorly. They've got two lives. It's all good. Now, oh, one life. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Let's stay clear of all the leaf shots. And just blast her! Nice! Alright, bring it on level 3. You're going to kill me, but... Well, allow me to live in denial for just a little bit longer. Yay! So many enemies. So much to think about. Extra life. Hmm. 
Now I've beaten my high score. Yeah! Can we make it to 100,000? We can! Check me out! Who's the next boss? I don't think I've got this far before. It's Nawaru! Oh no, cheeky homing lasers. Oh, I'm dead. Whew. Oh, yeah, there's my high score. And uh, I got an achievement as well. That's nice. All right, as you go initial, that's my full name, but whatever. There we go. Right, so that is Neptunia Shooter. That's a lot of fun if you enjoy sort of classic style shooter maps. Um, and it's a lot more than a throwaway game. There's actually some decent substance there. There's some interesting mechanics, some interesting level design. And uh, yeah, it's just a fun game. So like, whether or not you enjoy Neptunia, um, that's a worthwhile game to take a look at. As always, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you again next time.